Hey guys, welcome back to Transworld Snowboarding. Today, it is me and Blackout the m and Hey, it's been a while. How's it going, people? Yeah, what's up? So anyways, I brought you along because today, we're heading to the next two levels. And the first one, it takes place in Japan. It's bright and colorful. It's over the top. It has some fairly long rails. Is it reminding you of, uh, another level from another game? Uh... Another snowboarding mm. game, perhaps? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, can't, it's, can't it's quite almost... put my finger on it. Hey, wait, well, I was about to say, um, Tokyo Megaplex, but this looks more like Pipe Dream. Yeah, it looks like a mashup of the two, kind of. But anyways, it's the tube. It's not a Pipe Dream, it's a tube, you know? I'm, I'm tubing, sure, uh, I'm sure the, uh, I'm sure the name's completely unrelated, but, uh, you were spinning some Mastodon, and this is a race, so we gotta go fast, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This snow looks really, uh... It's like Astro Snow. It looks really kind of fake. <laughs> yeah, we've been pointing that out all game, kind of, because sometimes you'll just get these sections where it's like it gets ridges. You know? Yeah, I, I think... I guess maybe... I mean, it, it looks a lot like if you've ever seen one of those, um... Snowboarding things where you're like snowing on like carpet, you know, from like hot climates. You know what I'm talking about? Like snowflakes. Uh, Have you ever heard no, of these? No, not really. They're I mean, like I've for they're like for snowboarders in the hot hot season. It's got like a white carpet in it, and you're surfing one. Huh. We have one uh, actually uh, very close to where I live, um, and really? they work pretty well. And yeah, uh, it's. Um, one of the only ones around, I, I, like, I don't know, there's not too many of them, but um, it's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, the only you, bad part gotten... is, the only bad part is, even though it's supposed to be like, hey, now you can snowboard year-round, uh, if you don't wear, you need to be wearing a lot of clothing or else you'll get rug burn because it's carpet, so you might as well <laughs> just wait until it's cold anyway. Yeah, so what's the, like, texture on that? Like, does it feel like carpet? It feels like carpet, it looks like carpet, it's, it, it's a little how different, does... but... How can you snowboard on it? Like, how do you have kind of like the traction to go down um, it and not just stop? You know? I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm saying carpet, but it's like a kind of carpet. It's not like just they rip white carpet off the floor and put it down. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it feels like, it feels pretty snowy, honestly. People huh. go skiing, snowboarding, tubing there. That's I don't what think I have anything of. like that. I mean, a couple hours away, there's like, you know, a fake snow mountain or whatever where they just douse it in fake snow when winter comes. Ah, I really don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up because yeah, it seems uh, like, like, you know, like you you'd need, you know, it'd need to be kind of slick or you'd need to have... Well, you know, they they they, they have sprinklers. They wet it down. Okay. Which means um, you also really need to be wearing goggles or else that water will keep, like, you know, splashing your eyes. Not like big splashes, but you know, like little droplets and it can really irritate you. Yeah. Splashing you in the face. This is actually a pretty cool looking course, like even if it is uh, inspired by another one. Yeah. And I mean, it's it's massive. It's so long. Hey, did like... you know this game's made by Atari? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you see those giant cubes? And they're like, hey, it's Atari. <laughs> yeah, Atari and their publishing heydays, I guess. Yeah. And when are they yeah, going to come I out mean... with, like, the. Uh, Oh, what is it? Like the 50... 15,600? Is that what it would be called? I don't know. Yeah. Well, they had no. the they had 2,650, 2,700, so I just doubled 7,800. Yeah. That's what Why we don't you mean. go further? Why don't you quadruple it? You know, everything's coming out in 4K nowadays. You know? You know, you know 4K, say, the power of the old one. They say the best thing That's not quadrupling it. That's multiplying it by 4,000. Hate my cash. So I, I, you know, I did that race pretty well, but we got to go back in to get some of the other goals, you know. Got to do a big vertical drop. Got to, you know, uh, get a cover shot, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jump through that flaming hoop, get the real points. That's what people want to see. Oh, those are some pretty sweet tricks there. Yeah. You know, for, for what the game says about giving you a score boost when, you know, your board's on fire or when you jump through fire, I don't see it. And, I mean, you're coming in here not really knowing how the game goes, so, you know, we can't really talk about that, but I really don't see it. Well, it's like, well, I mean, it's, 
Maybe it's like such a small boost you don't notice it. Like remember in a uh, freak style where it's like you can smash the scenery to get points and it's like ten points. No, yeah, ten points. I remember that. Like, how long do you think you'd have to sit there running into like uh like uh like barrels or gnomes or whatever to actually get a decent score? I don't know. Like you just have what to was, sit there. What was the point of that? You didn't have like combos. You weren't re you know you weren't resetting your combo meter, you were just getting ten points. Yeah, it's it seems like something they really didn't integrate that well. Yeah. Like they're like we might actually, as well just give them some points, so Actually if I remember right, like you can hit it over and the first time it gives you like a hundred, then you hit it again and it's ten, but still. Yeah, it, well I mean it's just like one of those oh wow, this is a really cool shot. Uh yeah. It's um well it was like I like I said, I think they just intended to have stuff you could smash and then they were like, We should give you some points for it. And this and all this was done late in development, so they couldn't come up with cool things to smash, just like bales of hay and gnomes. And then they yeah. didn't really think about how many points you would actually need for it to do anything. Or maybe they maybe originally did give out a ton of points, and then people just like found ways to you know uh, game it. Uh, you're implying that there were like you know beta testers or uh, feedback. That that was an EA Sports big game, and probably yeah, some players. Yeah, I know, but it didn't, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that great, but it wasn't. Uh, well, yeah, I, well I, mean, I mean, I remember it, I remember playing it all the time as a kid, though. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, uh, you know, we finished up another race, which finishes up kind of another set of levels, and now we're on to <laughs> oh, nice. freestyle. You know, freestyle basically, you know, big mountain range. Uh, trick requirements, score requirements, specialty trick requirements. You can see all of these are like pull a 1400 flip, pull a quadruple backflip, and you're supposed to do all of those on that very first jump, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw the one where I jumped and got like 8 seconds of airtime? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. And so if you, if you can get a good line, I mean, also those, those score requirements, like you saw that, well, Blake Blackout didn't see, but uh, you know, the highest score in one of the previous ones of these was like 300,000, and that's where it's going to top off for the whole game. Like, you never have to get more than 300,000 because it's really oh. difficult even getting to 300,000, because you need like a 30 times combo to get any points. Wow. Um, but in this level, you could definitely string something really good together. Again, you know, I'm, I'm being pretty safe. I'm stopping my tricks and making sure I can combo out of them. But I'm gonna get like 450k or 500k, I think. I mean, this is on like a good run. This is a really uh, cool looking track, actually. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm digging it. Yep. Now, of course, Born. you know, like I said, since I'm new, is this game you know, like? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is it? Um, I mean, it's okay, and I mean, it looks you know, like a typical snowboarding game. Yeah, and it's not hard to do most of the game, like. I shot. I flew over that rail, but one of the challenges is just grind that full rail. You know, if you want to yeah. restart to go back down there, do it second try. But then, like a couple of the challenges, like the maximum point ones, are so hard that. Wow, well, look at those static animals. Makes no sense. Yeah, that's my that's my new band, static animals. Static animals. Uh, you should go back and watch uh, episode two, where you'll have a uh, band named Animals Flung to the Sky. Maybe that could be their first album. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I went pretty all out in the tricks. You know, in any other game, I have gone way all out, and I only got like 150k. <laughs> and then I got buried. <laughs> and, they're, and they're just like, the, the camera crew's like, oh man, look at this sick footage. Daniel Frank was never heard from again. They just, okay. Like, the crowd just watched like for like 30 seconds of him like lying there, and suddenly they just walked yeah. away. The crowd cheered as he started to turn bluer and bluer. Wow. <laughs> There's a hey, have off. you ever heard of Daniel Frank? Not anymore. Wow. There's Apparently he was like an Olympian co competitor or something. I don't know if he won any medals at the moment. I can probably go, you know, let me Google that for you, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know who in the world he is. Because I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't follow the Olympics. Wow, can you actually grind that helicopter? Um, no, I don't think so. I wish there was a way uh, you could uh, <laughs> take a page out of uh, like a skateboarding game and skitch it. Jump up there uh, and just ride it to the end. Uh, how would that work? Like you just grab onto the tail. 
It would be like a sh it would be like a sh it would like take you be, and then it would like trigger like a, a you know uh, like a video where it would take you to a shortcut. Yeah. Let's see. Daniel Frank won his first international championship gold at the European Championships in 1995. Uh, he's Norwegian um, and earned second place at the World Cup ranking in the 1995-96 season. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, silver medal, men's half pipe, 1998 Winter Olympics. Um, well, you but like, you, you just brain that photographer. Ninth place, 2002 Winter Olympics. Well, so. it's better than last unless ninth yeah. was last. <laughs> A nine-person competition. I don't know. I don't, I don't know shit about snowboarding in real life. Yeah. All I know is you know about all them Uber trips. Hmm. I like the. Uh, I like how all these games, like from the PS1 era onward, always had these same like fake looking backdrops. Yeah. Like it's always just mountain PNG. And and like in this game, they put some serious effort into those. Like those look good. Yeah, they're really high quality, but I mean they're still. And then the game has animals that literally just stand there. Like animals. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I've heard of deer freezing up, but an entire pack of moose just letting you have their way, have your way with them. You know? Oh, that would never happen. Moose are like the, the dicks of the animal world. They'll just, they'll fuck yeah. you up. They don't care. Yeah, they should have charged at you, and you should have been able to die. Like, ask any Canadian. You know, you encounter a moose, you get away. They're big in, in their meat. Yeah. Moose is loose up in this bitch here. That's mm -hmm. what they say. You can't ask, ask me about it. Yeah. That's the unofficial uh, slogan. The moose is loose in Canada. Yeah, the no, no, the full thing. The moose is loose up in this bitch. Oh, I see. Yeah. Actually, no, I don't think I get like 450k. It was it was one of my other runs, like maybe when I went through it the first time when I did. Here, I just get enough to pass. You know. You know, but I mean, so aside from that, it's pretty easy to do everything else. Just do like a, like a. Like one of the big tricks off that first jump, and then well, right that's to the level awesome jump. finish. Yeah. Uh, so, um, you know what? Uh, are there any like realistic snowboarding games? Um, I mean, most of them, you know, exaggerate somewhat. But I don't think I've ever seen one that was really that didn't have like huge jumps and everything. I mean, my, I mean, it might be boring otherwise, but I think most simulation games tend to be kind of boring. Yeah. But have you ever seen one? Is my question. Uh, I'm thinking back to like every snowboarding game I've ever seen. I've never ever really seen. Anything. Yeah, trying to think of the most realistic one. I, don't know. I think the most They're realistic all... one would be like maybe like one of, like one of the uh, cool borders games. But... Yeah, maybe. Which is why nobody plays, <laughs> plays cool borders. Cool borders was like a big thing. I've, it's I've gotten suggestions to do it. But... Oh yeah, you got suggestions from me. I told you to play uh, Cool Borders Three because that's yeah, the best there's one. Like... Okay. I was gonna say there's like five, six cool border games. The third one's you the know? best. If I start on a cool borders retrospective, I'll be here all year. Well, don't just play cool borders three. Oh my god, I got it. Okay. All right, that was the tube and uh, Canadian Rockies. Wait, that's and what next it, up. It, it was called the tube. I didn't even see that. The tube was the first level. Wow, that was an awful name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, next up, we're hitting the final episode of Transworld Snowboarding. See you next time. Yeah.